whenever I, I walk in the streets, I always see pennies on the floor, but I don't bother to pick them up because, I mean, it's just a penny. It doesn't, it's not really much work to me. But if I were to lose, like, a special coin that my parents gave me, then that would really break my heart. Um, this coin is a Mexican peso. Um, on one side, it's the, it's the eagle and the cactus with a serpent in its beak, and uh, the other side, it's usually someone important. In this case, it's um, Menos, it's um, Menos, Tiando, Menos Tiando Carranza. My parents brought this coin from Mexico um, when they came to the U.S. as a reminder of, of their country, and also to teach me of what the Mexican culture is all about. And this, okay, this coin holds the history of Mexico, and it's also very special to me. Um, in this, in this speech, you guys will learn. You guys will learn what the coin represents in the Mexican culture and how it reminds me of my heritage. So this coin, it may be small, but it, ha it holds a huge history in Mexico. I'll begin off with the with this side, with the eagle. See, this is, this is a very iconic symbol for the Mexican people, and it's also located on the Mexican flag. This symbol represents the moment when an Aztec saw it. There's a legend behind the symbol, and the legend goes like this. Um, the Aztec god, the sun god, told an Aztec that if he were to see an eagle standing on the cactus with a serpent in its beak, it's a sign that, th that this is the land, this is the place where they should build their land and their foundations of it. And the city, and they built a city, and the city was called Tecnochtitlan, and it's now the present day Mexico. This is now the present day of Mexico City. On the other side, it's Venustiano Venustiano Carranza, and uh, he was the leader of the Mexican Revolution. The Mexican Revolution was an important event that happened in Mexico because it's it's a time when the people of Mexico uprise to the government. They led an uprising because the governments were doing um, unfair things to the poor people and there was corruption involved and so the Mexican people, they stood up to the government. And one of the people who stood up was, is a, it's a very iconic person. His name was Pancho Villa and he's very iconic to the Mexican culture. Um, any kid would, would, um, in Mexico would recognize who Pancho Villa is because of his, of his story and everything. Um, the Mexican Revolution is an important event, as I, as I said, because, uh, because of what the people did. And uh, the people today in Mexico, they stand proudly for what others did for them in the past. And uh, other events that happened in Mexico was the, it was the independence, the day of independence. It's when um, Mexico, declared its independence from Spain, and it happened on September 16, 1810. So what Mexican people do to remember these kind of events is that they celebrate with their families, they get together, they, they, have, festiv they have festivities, they um, have music, they have food, and, and, all this, and all these things to remember the past, to remember how they came to be. I already told you of how the coin represents the history of Mexico, and I'm gonna tell you how, how I am part of a culture. I am the daughter of two Mexicans, so um, I grew up in the Mexican culture, but I was born here in the U.S., and and one of my struggles is um, my Spanish, because um, I, I learned English here, and English is the language I use all the time, except with my parents, and it's such a struggle for me because because when I, when I encounter someone and they and they need help, I try to I try to help them, and sometimes they wouldn't understand what I'm saying in, in my Spanish, and it's very frustrating for me. So that's one of my struggles. But um, my parents they try to help me out with learning how to pronounce like a certain certain letter or word, and so it's so it's very easy to forget my Spanish language, and it's very easy to forget my culture because. I grew up here, and I know, and I know a, a little bit more you know, about the U.S. and Mexico. But um, but the way I keep my heritage is my parent. I have my parents to remind me, 
And so my so my parents they would they would um have all these traditions of um of making tamales on Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve and then and on my birthdays they would make pozole or mole. They're different kind of Mexican food and then and and then sometimes okay when we're not celebrating like a normal day, um me and my mom we would sometimes get together at night and watch the novelas. And then on the weekends, I would get together with my father and we watch the soccer games. And that's one way that, that my parents helped me remind me of how important my culture is. Because it's all about family, getting together, and then spending a good time. I already told you how, I already told you how this coin represents the Mexican culture. And I already told you how I am part of the Mexican culture. Um, I already, I already explained to you how the images on the coin, how it's all about um, the culture of Mexico and how it is now today. And, and I explained to you how being part of the Mexican culture is very important to me because of my parents and it's, it's who I am as part of my identity. So the Mexican culture, you don't necessarily, you don't necessarily have to be Mexican to enjoy the Mexican culture. Any, it's for anybody to enjoy and to have a, a great time with their family.